Welcome back. Snow, slush, and ice don't slow down those who like to lace up their shoes and take up the gorgeous sights of our city. And with the world of winter taking place, you better believe events like this provide a whole other level of things to take in during a Grand Rapids running tour. Join us this morning is Caroline Cook, owner of the tours. Good morning. Good morning, Leanne. Thanks so much for being here with us today. And of course, I know the weather doesn't slow you guys down one bit, our little walkers and runners here in Grand Rapids. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys are doing to some partnerships taking place. Absolutely. Well, this is the um, one of the big events of the world of winter is this weekend, and it's the Valent Ice Sculpture uh, Festival. And there will be 80 plus ice sculptures downtown created by Randy Finch, uh, the ice guru. And this is the eighth year of the ice festival. And the fourth year, it's been under the um, umbrella of World of Winter. So you've probably been enjoying other activities in the past month. But this weekend, when Randy unveils, starting Friday, these 80 plus sculptures, it could be overwhelming to you. So when you come down dressed warmly and maybe with a hot chocolate in your hand, uh, meet me at uh, many times, seven different times that I'll be guiding people on free walking tours of as many ice sculptures as we can get to in one hour. And these are free, so right? Free? Yes, yes. Very Friday cool. night at 6 p.m., uh, Saturday, 10, 12, 2 and 4, and then again Sunday at noon and 2. You meet at Rosa Park Circle, standing right in front of the Grand Rapids Art Museum. And I'll be there in a bright red coat, red for Valentine's Day and warmth. And I will, uh, you'll just sign a little form and off we go and walk for an hour and see these magnificent ice sculptures. And Randy and I have been talking all along, so I've got the inside scoop, pardon the pun, on how these <laughs> sculptures have been created. That's so fun. I if someone has a stroller that's able to handle the elements, are welcome to bring smaller ones with them? Absolutely. Families are encouraged. And the strollers, that would be a challenge, <laughs> but certainly welcome. All right. We'll get, well, I got some snow tires on those strollers. How about that? All right. And also, right. will you be providing the African Americans on the Grand Walking Tours uh, throughout Black History Month? Yes. Part of World of Winter, I have already guided three of the Black History Walking Tours, and I have three remaining on the schedule, and that would be next weekend. And all of these dates and times are at the worldofwintergr.com and also on my uh, the front homepage of my website, grandrapidsrunningtours.com. But you don't have to register in advance, you can just drop in. But the uh, African American history on the grand is what I like to call the tour that uh, I have created. And it it's, takes us by all the touchstones, all the places in Grand Rapids that remind us to tell the stories of the African Americans that have come before us and uh, what it was like to be black historically in Grand Rapids and what the future holds. So that is the tour in honor of Black History Month, uh, but certainly available year round. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much. Lots of information out there. Lots of uh, great opportunity awaiting you to go out and see our wonderful city. All those tours, again, meeting at Rosa Park Circle. Your cost is free. Go to GrandRapidsRunningTours.com. You can go ahead and just reach out to Caroline if you want. Right there, Caroline at GrandRapidsRunningTours.com. Have a delightful day. Thank you, Leanne.